Today's video brought to you by Plate 17, Interior of Sawmill, Norwich, McKean County, November 7th, 1917. What's up everybody? All right, so for my short time in the woods, I've noticed that there's certain things you can do and can't do with certain species of hardwoods and softwoods that are found in my area when it comes to hand cutting. So in this video series, I'm gonna share with you some of the tips and tricks that I was either taught, learned from trial by error, or watched on other videos and picked up on in my style of hand cutting. So hopefully you guys enjoy these videos and if you follow along throughout the whole series, maybe there's a little something you can use or maybe not. It's up to you guys. So I hope you all enjoy and stay tuned for many more videos to come. Thank you. What's up everybody? Today's species specific tips and tricks. This is a good old eastern white pine. Um, well, it's just about what you imagine. It's very brittle. Uh... If you get the stuff up north in the mountains, it grows real slow. It's a little more stringy, so you, you have the ability to like swing it across its lean and stuff. But for the most part, it kind of got to go where it's leaning. There's not much you can do with it. It breaks apart. Lots of limbs come out of it, so there's lots of overhead danger. Um, you can push it with the skitter. You got to leave your hinges fatter. Like I said, it's brittle. This one here has got a tad bit back lean. I think I can get it with a wedge. I want to follow it up in this ditch with the rest of this mess. I got two hung up over there. I got a red oak hung up on the other side of it. I got to go up there with the skitter and pull that down in a minute. And an opportunity, we'll do this one here first. So let's see if we can get it with the uh, wedges. Let me get my camera holder down in the ground my phone in the holster it's tipped it back so hopefully you can see can you see up the ditch line where's the tree there's the tree maybe you'll be able to see that surface area tends to help keep the wood from crushing. You want to make sure you apply the up pressure when you're really hitting one like this until you get it to almost past center. You want to make sure you stay square to the hinge to so stay back behind it. If you start pulling on the side too much, it'll break right off. It, like I said, it does not have a lot of ability across the hinge. It's coming. Start to sound hollow means we've not got her. There it goes. Topped itself and everything. Now, let's go up and get that one. 
Okay, so this one, it's got forward lean that way, but it wants to go over there a little more. I'm gonna try to get it to go out this hill and run down this bank here. I got a little red oak I gotta lose because it's gonna stop it. Let's see how this works out. kind of let it do its thing. I don't want to push it. Did it break off? I don't know. Ah. It went good, but I wanted it to slide down off that stump. It had it skipped off that one stump there, we'd have had it. But, but you could see, look how fat I left that hinge. And this was the tension side, so you can see it has a little bit of tensile strength, but for the most part, it just shear off. So, white pine in this area doesn't tend to barber chair, but like I said, always treat a tree like it would do that if you have a hard leaner or something. But it doesn't, it seems to just want to snap off when it hits more than splinter open. It's like I said, it's real brittle. Um, you have lots of knots, I feel, tie it together keep it from wanting to barber chair but it's hard to say so okay so i hope that uh sums up white pine and you guys look at that, there's a cool shot out the little ridge here um there's a 748 down there somewhere there um anyways hope that sums up like i said the big things with white pine is it's kind of got to go you don't have a lot of options across for swinging um, when you get big ones, punch the heart. It doesn't hurt anything. Obviously, don't do that if you're trying to get it to swing a little bit here or there. But uh, for the most part, um, watch your overhead hazards. Because as they start coming down, especially when they're grown tight like this. Check that picture out. When they're grown tight like that, they, uh, they tend to pull limbs out of the other tree and they're so brittle. That crap comes raining down on you. So you got to have your... Got to have your running boots on when you're cutting these. So, all right, everybody.